Hello everyone, how are you? I am going to be doing reaction videos, so let's get started with one of the first games I am that I'm excited for. Uh, of course, this is only trailer one of this of this game. But if there's going to be another trailer of it, uh, I'm going to be very happy about it. Even more. So, let's get started with Doom The Dark Ages. This is a prequel to Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, and it is a sequel to Doom 64. So, let's get started. Before you became a hero, he was the super weapon of gods and kings. This kind of makes him like fucking a, a fucking Viking in a way. Oh, this is sick. The weapons here are kind of metal, but they are going with the old Doom route here. But the shield is badass. Okay. Let me just say this. That that was kind of interesting, though. Um, you never get to see um, Doom Guy, aka Doom Slayer, using a, a chain Morning Star like that. Of course, this is Doom Guy, so he is the Doom Guy. If you never played Doom Doom uh, Eternal, you, you will find out this is actually Doom Guy. Not the uh, Doom Marine and Doom Three. So, even though Doom Three is canon, but as a sep as an alternate Doom, as an alternate universe, see, they're going with a multiverse idea here for the uh, of connecting Doom Three with, with the. The classic uh, continuity of Doom Guy of becoming Doom Slayer. So let's let's keep going. Uh, I'm gonna enjoy. Like I need to see more of the uh, weapons and shit here, literally. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited to use that shield. You see. That's a nail gun. And how many times have I seen a nail gun used in any game? Well, let me say this. Um, the Fear franchise with the Penetrator. It, it stuck enemies to walls and anything. And then you got the crossbow of uh, Half-Life 2. Uh, you can stuck any enemy to any surface. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I guess that's uh, another idea there. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to see how this plays out. Yeah. Twenty twenty five, yeah. Now, when it comes to games, 
Okay, I'm gonna pause this for a second. Now here we go with another game. This here is Gears of War E-Day. So we're finally getting a game of Gears of War that started the entire series. Emergence Day. We're going back when, when we first played Marcus Phoenix in the first game. When Epic made Gears of War 1 and 2 back in the day. And now we're getting Gears of War Emergence Day. So this was just announced uh, last month. So here we go. Currently, this is in the in-engine uh, footage right now. So, if, if there is going to be more to this game, then I'm, I will show it. Maybe. I will see. But, um, but let's uh, continue on. Seeing the good old locust come back is awesome. of war E-Day hmm. Now the only two games of Gears of War I touched was Gears of War 1 and Gears of War 2 back on the Xbox 360 God, that, that was years ago <laughs> I, f I feel old now, but um, yeah, um, let me let me just pause this recording and uh, yeah, we'll move to the last one. I'm not gonna show Pokemon because everybody has already reacted to Pokemon, so um, yeah, here we go. A game that me and my f and few of my friends that are excited for this game to be coming out in next year. It is Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. It was finally announced last month. So, yay. <laughs> Damn. Now, if you haven't played Metro Prime 3, um, this is the exact ship that Samus uses 
from from that game. And you'll you'll see interesting references here and there. <clears throat> Good old Samus. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So good. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You're getting classic with some, some of uh, the classic enemies here, uh, which is the Space Pirate. They are very well known throughout the franchise of uh, Metroid. <clears throat> now, if you haven't played Metroid Primes, the Metroid Prime series, um, if you have a Wii or a GameCube, a DS, or or even a uh, a switch um go go uh go buy yourself a, a game one of the metro prime games uh, i think you will like them and i recommend the franchise too and yeah hello Now, I love the HD look on the Morph Ball. I love the I love the HD models to basically uh, do everything here. Now, if you haven't played Metro Prime, um, you can also get Metro Prime Remastered on the Switch. It's really great. If you have not played any of the f games, um, look it up, and, and if you can buy any of the old games on, if you have the right system, um, you can play them. But yeah, uh, I, re I recommend playing the Metro Prime series. They're pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. No joke. Oh, that looks so cool. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely looks cool. Bum, 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 bum. Oh no! Fuck. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck you, laptop. Now, the uh, guy right there. character right here is, his name is Silex. So if you have, that was Ray being, going online on Battle.net, playing Overwatch, I'm betting. Anyways, um, this is Silex, he is, uh, he's mainly playable in uh, Metro Prime Hunters, in the multiplayer. If you never played Metro Prime Hunters, um, you gotta have a DS in order to play that game. I, and I highly wish it, it, there's a remaster to it. That, that would be great. That would be really great. But um, yeah, Silex here, he has made few cameo appearances in the Metro Prime series. Uh, and Metro Prime 3, and Federation Force, and I think that's it. I'm not sure what other games he's in, but um, yeah, if you want to know, um, uh, Ray might comment on this video eventually. But um, yeah, let's keep going. Hmm. Metro Prime 4, Beyond.
Mm. Yeah. Only it took them seven years to actually get this to be made. <laughs> Twenty twenty five. Woo! No, I'm kind of curious what kind of planet that is. I'm kind of curious. Are we going to get uh, to travel to other planets like in Metro Prime Three? Me? But um, yeah. Um, thank you, Nintendo and Retro Studios of. Bringing Metro Prime Four from the uh, from the depths of being uh, being weighted all. I I I, I can't word correctly. God damn it. Anyways, now that that was three games I have reacted to, and I'm very excited for them. And no worries, I'm not. I, I'm pretty much not gonna do Pokemon uh, Legends uh, Z because the, the sure I'm excited for that, but for so many people I've already reacted to it. I'm I'm more excited to this game, Doom, and Emergence Day of Gears of War. Um. Anyways, everyone. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Keep on the stuff. Laters, everyone. And have a good night, good morning, or a good afternoon. Depends where you are. Later, guys.